All right, babies, it's that time again. Oh, yeah. We are in 1 Corinthians 10. Again, this is one of those passages that sounds more like Paul than it does God, but there's a few gods in there. So let's get to them. Uh, Paul basically goes on at length. And that's what I mean about sounding like Paul and not so much God. If you notice, God gets to the point when he has something to say. <laughs> He's not one for verbosity like Paul. Um, can be. Um, Paul's telling the uh, Corinthians, you can't drink the cup of Christ and the cup of demons. You know. So stay true to who you are. If you're connected to Christ, let him be your source. And put away all idols, things that are get in the way of Christ being the ascendant one in your mind, spirit, body, and soul. Uh, what else does he say? Um, I can't remember. <laughs> so uh, I'm just going to pass on that. You're basically getting the gist of it. Um, oh, the other piece, yeah, the other piece is like, he explains how, you know, if there's something that you're doing that you think is gonna cause somebody else to falter, for instance, you have no problem doing it, but you know they might have a problem with your level of freedom, then he's just saying, don't do it in front of them. If you're free to do what you do and you have the, the confirmation from the spirit to stay that way, then stay that way. That's part of freedom in Christ. But other people may not. So he's just saying, you you help bear the burden of the body by respecting the weaknesses of others, taking it into account and adjusting your behavior so your freedom isn't used as, as something they can say, oh, I guess this thing that I was against doing, I guess I can do it because I see somebody else doing it. Because then it gets away from their relationship with God. It has to be our patterns of behavior and our choices are based on what we believe God is um, not only allowing, but um, finds expedient for us to do. So it's one thing to say, well, I can get away with this, but it's another thing to say, is this the best thing for my growth? So yeah, that's <clears throat> something only the individual can, um, can identify. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Stay thankful, stay holy, stay true, stay immersed. Oh yeah, baby, immersed in Jesus. You know, 
in case you're not sure about your behavior, ask God. <laughs> He'll let you know. And then if it's if he's asking you to do something difficult, then ask him to help you with it. Yeah. Believe that he's going to help you with it. Trust him to help you with it. Seek him with your whole heart. Has he given us Jesus so that we could have the taste of eternal life now? Being strengthened to do the right thing at the right time, in the right place, in the right way? Yes, he has. So why would we doubt that he's gonna do what we think we need him to do? Yeah, baby, that's called dishonoring God. Make him joyful. Make him rejoice in your behavior. Yeah. It might mean doing nothing. Better that than what you've been doing. It might mean being quiet instead of blabbing. It might mean looking around your life and see if there's something you can do for somebody that will bless them instead of navel gazing. It might mean opening up the Bible and finding something in there that's useful and you keep reading until you find it. Instead of saying, yeah, I'll get to that one of these days. It might mean listing all the things you are thankful for, everything the blue sky, a cool breeze, the taste of Lucky Charms, whatever it is, thank him for it and don't stop until you can't think of anything else. Instead of, oh, God knows if I'm thankful or not. It might mean getting in touch with your pain and crying out the tears instead of avoiding it by various behaviors. It might mean writing down all the things you believe God to be and then also listing down all the questions you have about God and then trusting him to answer and respond to what you've written both in confirming what it is you believe him to be and him helping you trust him for the answers to the questions that bother you most. Whatever it is, get to it, baby.